Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be claiming Rick as a 5 star and this is on my melee region. I'm still undecided on my second region but I probably will still claim him. Um, I could claim him right now as well as I managed to finish top 10 in both regions and get the 500 power tokens required and as you can see on the wheel I have 3381 as my token amount and that means I can hand in 32 times I did just wait I wasn't 100% certain I mean I was certain enough that in terms of calculations but you just you just never know I could have had a week where I wasn't able to do events you know you never know what happens in life it's just the way it goes um, I have you know I have had to go to the hospital before <laughs> fortunately um, I have a tablet so I was like I could still walk I can still do something um, but you never know um, but I decided to wait just because if I couldn't do all 32 pulls um, it would be better to do it on the wheel, but as I can do the pulls, I'm going to get Rick I'm gonna get him 13 days early as well. So I'm hoping that I can get some more tokens so There is a faction event going on right now and both uh, regions are doing really well on that um, There are of course more events to come this week and of course war next week and then an entire another week of events so I could potentially get 20 pulls on the wheel and that'll be fantastic That would really would be fantastic and I'm definitely gonna go for the wheel over the second stash um, but we will get to look at the second stash officially um, once I once I get Rick here. So here's the first pull. Uh, I'll probably just I'll probably just skip it to the end because uh, there's no, there's no like fun fun bit here. <laughs> you know, we know what we're gonna get. First up, it's gonna be night vision goggles, and we're gonna skip to the end. So here we go. The last claim is an Alpenstock, one of the worst items on the on the stash. But we are going to get Rick with that as well. The best Alpen stock I've ever got. <laughs> and here comes Rick. Give it to me. I love, I love this uh, this animation. It looks so sick. It looks so sick. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of that. It's pretty nice. Um, so Rick, I think, is a pretty nice character. I'm gonna test him out on attack I could potentially use him on you know only instead of Shiva against certain teams probably not I'm hoping to use Shiva and Rick in the same team um, but the only problem is it is gonna go quite glass cannon when you've got two massive damage dealers like that um, I have to have the right characters around them I kind of probably would need a better leader for attack team. It's the one that I could guarantee would be staying alive um, at the moment. I've got I use a five star as a leader just because I like I like AP and with with Rick being 66 rush and Shiva being 66 rush, they will both get a second turn command rush. So I can attack, they'll both get AP, and in the second attack, they'll both have a rush. If I command them, they can use it right away. If I don't command them. On turn three, they'll both use their rush. So, you know, I can decide what I'm going to do. For instance, I mean, I use Ezekiel as my leader just for the, the huge AP. I can command Ezekiel turn two instead, get the buffs up, get the heals up, and in turn three, these guys get their rush with 60% damage boost. And these guys' rushes are huge 550%, both of them. Um, and Rix is even higher than, you know, 2000 damage. He's going to absolutely annihilate a blue. There's no way that there's a blue character who's going to survive that. Um, it's just so much damage. You know, I'm going to be looking forward to the first time I get to test this out properly as a six star. That's probably going to be in over a week. I'm going to save this guy until the end of the week to do um, leveling up him as a five star. Probably going to max him out to I, I, the way I did it with Maggie. So I maxed her out close to tier three, to, and that managed to get me like 500k points with doing some levels elsewhere. And then the following level up, I maxed her out. Um, on tier four and then i ascended her and that's probably going to be the way but the thing is with rick i haven't got a perfect weapon lined up for him just yet we'll back out i have been trying to craft one um we're gonna come back to the stash in just a second um i have been trying to craft one the weapon i'm probably going to use in the meantime will be will be this weapon and it's just a stat weapon at the moment i'm going for the the ap boost and the attack boost but instead of absolute defense which is what i'd probably want it's going to have HP. So he'll be able to stay alive a bit longer. But I'm trying to modify, if you've been tuning into my streams, I've attempted this a couple of times where I'm trying to modify Jesus Jesus Sword. Uh, I think it's called Violent Blade. There we go. I've got two of them. 
I'm trying to modify it to get, put absolute defense in that third slot and then 40% attack on on the actual weapon and that's going to be like insane like that's basically like the equivalent of um the double attack ak-47 which we get from the event i didn't upgrade it very well on this region but on my other region i managed to get a perfect upgrade on this region i got a huge bonus but i did not get uh the 40 percent attack i got two i got two non-crits on the attack but it still is going to do a lot of damage and that's basically the, the sort of weapon but instead of double attack i'm getting absolute defense obviously on attack absolute defense is not as amazing as double attack but it's still um it's going to be quite useful It'll, it, he kind of needs to have a little bit of defense otherwise he's going to be in trouble so absolute defense will help with that in terms of just completely negating attacks um compared to shiva who has stun on attack which is really useful but she's kind of vulnerable um i've made her very attacking in basically how i've made my shiva um she's got a very attacking weapon no defensive stats at all um all three are attacking stats um so she she will she wrecks people but if she gets hit a couple of times it's difficult and that's why i generally command my ezekiel turn two just so that she gets 60 percent defense and she's really tanky at that point um so it really makes a big difference but i'm, I'm looking forward to wreck now let's have a little look at that second stash um i know it costs a lot 375 but it looks like pretty much everything in there is decent, except there are some three-star trainers. Aidens, Ulysses, Liliths. The only bit is there are, oh no, so four-star trainers and three-star trainers. So, I mean, that's the risk you, you run. You're running the risk of getting those, those there. I'm probably gonna go for the wheel. I just wanna have, you know, I think if there's higher potential on the wheel, this is basically, you know, two pulls on this i could get one or two, even two good items but that's basically seven pulls on the wheel even if i only get one good item on the wheel i could get a bag with six items in it you know i think I th I, and it's just going to be a bit more fun i'm going to be honest i'm definitely not going to be able to get the 86 here so i'm going to save the rest of my tokens for the wheel so have you guys got rick yet that is my question and what are you going to do with your your uh, upcoming tokens i have done a poll and I think the, the, the poll results were pretty pretty one-sided. Okay, here you can see the results of my poll. There was over 100 votes, which is amazing. And it says, what will you be spending your power tokens on? I didn't mean to say your, but I actually set this up while I was streaming. And I I made sure I, I did power tokens with capitals and just didn't read through it afterwards, which was a mistake. Um, the votes on it were 42% saying Rick Stash and the second Stash. 26% of people saying just the will and 32 percent of people saying rick stash and the will so that's a grand total of 74 percent saying they're going for rick which is which i guess isn't too surprising i think um i i think the people who are probably in the 26 percent probably have either multiple shivas or are completely arranged region and they're just going to go for the will because of that or they've they've they're someone who does a lot of premier pools doesn't really need characters and they just want a lot of gear I can I can sort of understand that way. One thing to mention though, if you are still struggling on getting the character or wanting to get more pulls on the wheel, make sure you raid. I've got on, you know, six, seven, um, hundred badges from just raiding. If you uh, if you get fortunate, you can get a hundred. I managed to get a hundred on a couple of times. Um, there is another raid tournament in this week, so if you want to double down and and help, I think it is another faction raid as well. So if you want to help your faction out while trying to get these badges um at the end of the week there's another faction event so um i i would just go in on that if you if you uh if you have the chance um it probably does cross over into the next week so the drops may only work for the early part of it so if you want to get the drops you have to drop cans early so if you did vote on this on this uh poll on my on my, on my twitter thank you so much i do appreciate it um and that, that's it that's it for this video guys i would if, if you didn't vote and you want to just put in the chat what you're still going to go for. Have you got Rick already? Are you, have you changed your mind? Are you going for the second stash where you were going for the will before? Or are you going for the will now after getting Rick? Where you were potentially going to be going for the second stash? What What is your opinion on what's going to be coming up? Um, I'm pretty happy. I'm probably going to save all my pulls to near the end of the event. And just do more in one big pull. And I'll, uh, I'll get a video up for that as well. Just for a bit of fun. Um, but that is the end of this video guys. And as always thank you very much for tuning in and keep on surviving.
keep on surviving. 